In early 2007, modern imaging technology revealed something else on Saturn that astounded scientists. We see it very, very intensely now. It's something big, something strange, and something never seen in the universe before. Saturn, the solar system's most bizarre yet beautiful planet, has just gotten even more mysterious. In 1979, the Voyager spacecraft showed a perfect geometric form over the North Pole. In October 2006, the Cassini craft found that it is still there. It's just bizarre, and it sits there kind of still. It doesn't move with the planet. The pole, there's a hexagonal feature, a six-sided polygon that encircles the pole at about 78 degrees north latitude. And it's sitting there as a set feature. The hexagon is similar to Earth's polar vortex, which has winds blowing in a circular fashion around the pole. Saturn's vortex can fit four Earths inside of it and extends 60 miles deep into Saturn's clouds. And what's more bizarre, uh, Voyager saw little tiny clouds going around at about 100 meters per second, which is about 200 miles an hour, going around this racetrack. People thought, well, maybe it's just a, a temporary thing. How could this stay there? It's been there now for at least 20 years, and we're going, what is this?
interrupt this program to give you a bulletin just received from one of our naval units at sea. A large object traveling at supersonic speed is headed over the North Atlantic toward the east coast of the United States. Ladies and gentlemen, this is Drew Pearson. We bring you this special radio television broadcast in order to give you the very latest information on an amazing phenomenon, the arrival of a space ship in Washington. The Army has taken every precaution to meet any emergency which may develop. Just a minute, ladies and gentlemen, I think something is happening. <laughs> to give you these facts. But if you threaten to extend your violence, this earth of yours will be reduced to a burned out cinder. But he's a robot. Without you, what could he do? There's no limit to what he could do. He could destroy the earth. All vehicles, close in. Let's go. 